that is uh that that is the stuff of nightmares, so to speak. Get it? Get it? Because you know you're asleep. Anyways, <laughs> Satanic Soldier 76 confirmed. Wow, that's a lot of alliteration. Anyways, guys, wow. Start off there with a bit of a sidetrack, but today's video, I figured we talk about the uh, topic of tank busting and and whether or not Overwatch should have more of it. Because in case if you guys don't know, there's sort of this new uh, and crazy strat going around where people pick three tanks to support, no DPS, and they're just rolling people, right? And, and a lot of it pivots off of uh, Ana's Nano boost and Reinhardt swinging his hammer really, really aggressively. Not a lot of people know how to counter it. The pro team that's really using it now is NIP, uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. If you want to see more information about it, check out my buddy Lone Hawk's video. He did an excellent little run through of what it entails. My guess on why tanks are becoming much, much more popular in the Overwatch picks, and I mean, this is of course beside the fact that they're very, very powerful. Uh, characters is that Zenyatta got his uh, Orb of Discord nerfed, a lot of the old tank busters, especially McCree, he got his fan of hammer damage nerfed, so there's not too many heroes right now that can stand uh, up to tanks. I mean, you have Reaper, who's really the, uh, the, uh, the resident tank buster, you got Bastion to some degree and Roadhawk to some degree, but tanks right now are very, very powerful, you know? I mean, like, sure, their job is to tank, right? I mean, they're supposed to be tough to kill. So this kind of raises the question, should there be more tank busting mechanics or heroes in Overwatch? Now, at this point in time, it might be a little too early to kind of come to a consensus whether or not tanks are too powerful overall. But if in the event that they are deemed too powerful, and if the meta kind of settles out to a point where tank spamming is a must have, right? Then let's kind of explore some possible options on how Blizzard can introduce ways to counter tanks. Now, the most straightforward way that I can think of is just to, you know, change around DPS heroes, or oh, I guess it doesn't have to be DPS heroes, but just heroes in general to do a little bit more damage to tanks. In my opinion, this would be a really dangerous option to do, just because, I mean, come on, you, you can tell with the amount of freaking patch notes and balance changes that they're really striving for, you know, more a, a more balanced roster, right? So I don't think by just simply increasing damage would be the right way to go. An alternative though, if you think about tanks and how they work in Overwatch, it isn't just that they have a lot of HP. Usually they have some sort of ability that would give them more tanky properties, if you know what I mean. Like Reinhardt's shield, that's 2000 HP. Zarya, she's got the double bubble, right? Winston, she's, he's got the big bubble. I, I don't have anything clever to say for Winston. Uh, D.Va, she's got the defense matrix. You know, these are all abilities uh, that, that make tanks much, much tankier. Uh, Roadhog is just a, a fat ass. I'm, I'm sorry, Roadhog. But anyway, so uh, another option that I was thinking would be to introduce some sort of ability that could cancel out the effectiveness of those shield abilities. Uh, one example that comes to mind is Mei with her Blizzard, right? She recently had this buff which made her Blizzard go through shields, and that kind of made a huge difference, in my opinion, to how she's able to deal with big pushes with tanks in them. Now, I would imagine that balancing a game around the current roster with trying to have some of their abilities go through shields may be a bit of a clusterfuck with balancing, so maybe with the next hero, whoever that may be, probably Sombra, let's just say Sombra for simplicity's sake, but I figured, you know, perhaps they gave Sombra some way or ability or attack to get through shields easily, sort of like what they have with uh, with Symmetra. But she's such a niche pick anyways, I, I don't see her being like consistently picked enough to be considered like an anti-tank solution. Another idea I had would be to give uh, this new hero a silencing ability, right? And for those who aren't familiar with the mechanics of silence, uh, basically it prevents the enemy team, whoever is affected by it, they can't cast anything anymore. Uh, now, the problem with silencing abilities is that they're very, very difficult to balance, especially in a game like Overwatch, but if it was like an AoE ultimate type style of silencing, maybe it might not be too terrible of an idea. Uh, anyways, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think tanks are going to become too powerful very soon because of the lack of counters they have? Or are you more in the camp that tanks are fine, they don't really need to be countered by tank busters, you know, the number of tank busting options we have is adequate? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Again, this is just sort of my thoughts on tank busting and how it could be implemented more creatively in the future if in the event, you know, tanks are indeed deemed too powerful. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and until next time I'll see you around Damn, son.